Hey guys, Magnus Robber here bringing you another video. This one will be on Bob Stucky, another dead Walking Dead character. Boyfriend to Sasha, a partial doctor to the prison prison community, and ex-army medic. Uh, Bob is played by Lawrence Gillard Jr. He is of course male. He is early to mid 30s and first appeared in 30 Days Without an Accident. Bob served in the military at a young age as a medic and due to this became an alcoholic. Bob joined the community after the outbreak, uh, which was destroyed, and then again, which was also destroyed, making him depressed before he found Glenn and Daryl out on the road and he was brought to the prison sometime after season three. In season four, Bob asks to go on a supply run to the big spot, which Sasha allows. In here, Bob grabs a bottle of wine, putting it back, but bringing down the entire shelving unit. The others get it up off him and he narrowly escapes the big spot as it collapses, but Zack is killed. This makes Bob sad. Bob helps with the residents who turned and helps solve what the flu is. Bob helps bury Karen and David and goes on a medical run. The car is trapped and him and the others escape, but Tyrese goes mental on some zombies. Eventually they meet up back with Ty in the woods. Bob gets the meds with the others but also grabs some booze. Daryl finds it and gets mad at him. Bob then helps with the vaccinations and then helps defend the prison from the governor when he attacks. He is shot in the shoulder and escapes with Maggie and Sasha. Sasha soon fixes Bob up. They look for the prison bus and when they find it they clear it but do not find Glenn. They fight some zombies in the fog which is pretty awesome. Bob has a close call here and then they find a sign and head to Terminus. Sasha and Bob wake up to find Maggie gone. Sasha wants to stay and Bob goes to find Maggie on his own. But just before he kisses Sasha goodbye. But Maggie and Sasha find each other and meet up with Bob. Bob, Maggie and Sasha are found by Abe and co. And then they gun down the zombies in the tunnel, saving Glenn and Tara. They then head to Terminus where they are trapped. And then Rick and co. are added to the train car along with Bob and his group. In Season 5, Bob makes weapons with the others before he is gassed and brought to the slaughter room. Bob watches four people killed and then begs Gareth to spare them as Eugene has a cure to his knowledge. Gareth threatens to put a knife in Bob's eye if uh, Rick doesn't reveal what he buried in, in the woods. Bob is saved by Carol and then Rick and co. helps save the others and kills the zombies, escaping, reuniting with Carol, Ty and Judith. Here Bob has formed a proper relationship with Sash, and Bob and the others find Gabriel in the church. He along with some others go on a supply run in a flooded building. Here Bob is unfortunately bitten on the shoulder by a walker. He attends a little party at the church and goes out to cry about his upcoming death. Here he is knocked out by Gareth and his leg is chopped off and eaten by the cannibal and his termites. Gareth laughs and says to Gareth, I've been bitten, you stupid pricks! <laughs> I'm tainting me. <laughs> Gareth knocks him out and dumps him back at the church. Bob says good his goodbyes to Sasha, Rick, and the others. Bob slowly dies, and Ty does this out of mercy. Bob is buried outside of the church. Bob later appears in Tyrese's hallucinations later on in the season. Bob was a troublesome character who had issues with booze, but he was upbeat in the second half of season 4 and season 5. He was a nice character throughout who brought some brightness to the series and his death was sad. I liked his amb ambiguousness and how he was you know, very cheerful in these dark times. It was very clever how he took Dale's comic book death and I think it worked. He was a nice character, a, a minor character, but he lasted a fair amount. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, tell me your thoughts on Bob as a character, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next video. Goodbye.